Hi friends, Rebecca here. Welcome back to And a Sprinkle of Love. It has been a long time since we've been to all these. It's been, I think, probably going on a month. Uh, we've been filling in here and there with just a, like kind of the basics, but we have been just doing like another clean out. Just kind of let's use what we have and kind of start anew. And so today's haul was about $135, but like I said, we got a lot of like um, basics and we really needed to just stock up. So let's just get started. We started with some flour and some sugar. Is it just me or have the bags of sugar been progressively getting smaller and smaller over the last like 25, 30 years? I don't know. It seems like they keep getting tinier. <laughs> and then we got another bag of these um, just um, tortilla chips. It's a party size. <laughs> I guess for me, it's our, for us, it's just family size. <laughs> and then our favorite, the sea salt and cracked pepper kettle chips. I haven't had these in almost a month. Oh my goodness, it's been a long time. And then we got a gallon of milk. Like I said, we've been kind of filling in as needed. So there's a gallon of milk. And then we just got a loaf of this whole grain white bread. My husband's like, can we get white bread this time? And I was like, well, of course we can get white bread. So I got the whole grain white bread. <laughs> And then I just got a package of English muffins. Eggs are still such a great deal. So I got um, three dozen. So we've been just doing a lot of um, making, like usual, like making muffins, but also making eggs for breakfast, egg salad sandwiches. So that's been working well. Got another count of the fajita size flour tortillas. Okay, so this is where I kind of went nuts. So here's canned goods. <laughs> So I got another two cans of this red enchilada sauce. Let's see, it is 28 ounces, and I really like it. I wasn't sure. I was kind of like an enchilada sauce snob for a while, but I really like it, and I don't find it at Aldi really often. It's usually the green salsa verde, so when I do find it, I do like to get it. So I got another two cans, so that'll last a while. And then it's that time of year we do a lot of like stews and soups and pastas and stuff. So I got another, let's see, four cans of tomato paste. Let me, let me get that out of the way. And then I got two cans of the crushed tomatoes and we'll use that in soups and pastas. And I got like a whole gigantic tower here of tomato sauce. I got 12 tomato sauces and that'll be good pantry staples. I got two cans of black beans. I got two cans of these great northern beans. And oh okay I lied actually I got four cans of black beans. I was gonna say I only got two cans. I actually got four cans of black beans. Um, just another can of home style baked beans. And then I got um, two cans of the cannelli beans. Or is that how you say cannelli? No. Cannell cannellini oh my goodness I couldn't read it I'm like how do you say that okay so <laughs> anyways I got two of those and then I got two cans of cream of chicken soup and then I got a can of cream of mushroom so this is like well at least for my all these um this right here is seasonal it's the um it's a hundred percent pumpkin and I can only find this from about September through like maybe maybe January if they have just kind of a surplus. So I like to stock up when I can. Um, I don't really use this for pies. My mom's usually the pumpkin pie maker in our family, but so but I like to make um, muffins and cupcakes and fun stuff with that. Um, then I got another can of sweetened condensed milk another jar of our favorite salsa. We haven't been eating as much, so I haven't had to buy as much. Um, just a thing of vegetable oil. I got another thing of some extra virgin olive oil. And then I got some beef broth. We're going to have some um, vegetable beef soup on the menu next week. Okay, and then over to the the good stuff for you. I got some bananas. I got some bananas that are ready for baking. And then I got some bananas that are just, you know, just about right for eating. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so it's apple season, which makes me happy because I'm pretty sure apples are my favorite. Are my favorite fruit. These are, um, let's see. These are the Red Delicious, and Red Delicious are my, can't even get a good picture of this. Red Delicious are my favorite apples. They're kind of in the bag. They're not huge, but they look, I know all these bagged apples can be kind of hit or miss, but I kind of checked each one and they're really delicious and I'm so excited. Okay, I got another big 10 pound bag of potatoes. They had these big bags of onions. They're about three pounds each of just yellow cooking onions. See, it's three pounds, yeah, about three pounds. And they had these big bags for 99 cents. So I ended up getting um, two big bags of them. I got some lemons for some lemon water. I got, um, they decided to just um, get one of these, what are they called, English cucumbers? Like kind of the longer, skinnier, or seedless ones. I'm trying to see, it doesn't say. But anyways, yeah, we got one of those instead. We find that those ones kind of last longer. We like to snack on the other ones, but these ones are better in salad. Um, got another bag of nectarines. I'm guessing this, with the, the end of the year, kind of, we probably won't be able to find these much more often. Same with cantaloupe. Cantaloupe smells really good. I think it's going to be, put it in the front here, I think it'll be ready too. To cook here soon, got a bag of green grapes, and those are really yummy. I snuck one as we were um, bagging our groceries at the store. And I got a thing of strawberries, usually this time of year. They're usually not this lovely, but they looked wonderful, so I had to get another one. Um, let's see, and I got some green onions, kind of a normal thing. And to go in my vegetable soup, I think that I'm gonna make next week, I just got a, a green cabbage, just kind of a smaller one. And cabbage is one of those things that'll probably sit and stay fresh in your fridge forever. And then I, they had these baby Bellas on sale, so I got a package of those. And then I got a package of, see, I still don't know if I'm gonna say this right, vermicelli, vermicelli, you probably know how to say it. I don't, but anyway, I got one. Um, this is the pasta that I use to make homemade rice aroni. And then we're gonna be doing a lot more baking, and it's been a while since we've been here, so I got four packages of chocolate chips. I got two of the milk chocolate, two of the semi-sweet, one thing of macaroni and cheese, because mamas, we need to have something that we can make in 10 minutes if we are in a time crunch. We've got um, some strawberry cereal bars for Allison, some apple cinnamon ones. We got some of these um, Aldi brand of wheat thins, and those are pretty good. And because I want to be the best mom in the world today, I got two of these boxes of chocolate cereal for the kids. It's a fun little treat. Um, some pure vanilla extract, another thing of um, maple syrup, some provolone cheese, which we buy all the time. Oh my goodness, so this is ridiculous. I know I got five blocks of cheese, two Colby Jack, two Monterey Jack, and extra sharp. I just like to have it in my fridge, whether we use it for recipes or a lot of times, you know, I usually will at some point bring a meal to somebody maybe or... Um, or, you know, we'll just eat it ourselves because it's cheese and it's delicious. And then I got some of my quick gravy, just these three brown gravy packets. I got two things of butter. They're still not a great, I don't know, it's not like a terrible price, but it's not great. It's still $2.99, so I just got two. And then I got two tubs of sour cream. Okay, so this is totally new. I've never bought this before. It's um, mild Italian chicken sauce, ugh, mild Italian chicken sausage with mozzarella cheese, peppers, and onions. So I have never tried this before. Um, the calories are pretty decent for just one for a link. It's 140 calories. I thought this would be like a good like healthier lunch or just kind of something to kind of help watch the calories a bit. So I'll let you know how those are. I got some extra heavy whipping cream, some bacon. I got some extra fine green beans, some chicken nuggets, and then I got three of our pepperoni.
pizzas that we usually get for the kids to keep in the freezer. Those are a good price. These were um, marked down to $1.99 this time, which is a good deal because they've been like about $2.20. So yeah, so that is my grocery haul. Again, I spent about $135 and I will show you my meal plan. Be right back. Okay friends, here is my meal plan for about the next two weeks. We are going to do some chicken pot pie soup with homemade biscuits. When I make this guys, I'm going to have to share this recipe with you. It is beyond amazing and I only make it like maybe twice a year because it is so decadent and it's probably so incredibly bad for you but it's just, it's so wrong it's right. It's, it's amazing. Um, we're going to do some pulled pork with macaroni salad and corn on the cob. I think I got the last batch of corn on the cob at Walmart the other day and that just signifies the end of summer and that's a little sad but the kids are excited for fall so I guess I have to be excited with them. <laughs> Tacos with rice and salad. We're going to do some schnitzel with mashed potatoes and green beans. Chicken tortilla soup with salad. Some pasta bake with meatballs and garlic bread. Slow cooker chicken pot roast with roasted veggies. Some beef and eggplant stew with rice. Lasagna casserole with bread and salad. Vegetable beef soup with bread. Enchilada rice casserole with salad. We're going to do a pizza party, which is my favorite day of the week. No, I love to cook and I love to bake, but it's always a treat to have a night off. And then um, one night we're just going to do leftover soups with the paninis and salad. The kids and I and my hubby, we all just love paninis and this is like probably one of our favorite types of leftovers. And then the kids will be off to Grandpa and Grandma's house for an evening and we will have a date night. But our date nights are not usually really extravagant. We usually go to like Chipotle or, you know, maybe Jersey Mike subs if you guys have those. It's just really pretty cheap and inexpensive, but we love it. Okay, so as far as to bake, these next couple weeks. I'm going to make some chocolate chip cookies and you saw in my grocery haul I bought some pumpkins so I'm definitely going to make some pumpkin chocolate chip muffins, zucchini bread, some homemade white bread, and some homemade biscuits. And yeah so that's our meal plan for the next couple of weeks. Um, any recipes that I have on my blog or, or on YouTube I will post down below so you can get the recipes for it but otherwise stay tuned for some more cook with me videos thanks so much for watching I would love to know what's on your meal plan this week leave a recipe or a link to a recipe or just let me know in the comments down below I'd love to see what you're cooking I could always use some fresh inspiration you guys have a wonderful night happy first day of fall and be blessed and be a blessing